this is a great book. It's about, oh man, I'm so confused. I don't know what to think. Oh my, Philip, what's the matter, my friend? Well, uh, the guys and I were playing soccer when some boys from the village ran in and knocked us all down and, and took our ball. Oh, well, that's awful. They said that Christians are all wimps because our God teaches us to be soft. Well, that's not true. Well, but it is. I looked it up, and God's word says in several places that we're to be meek and gentle. I don't want to be a wimp. Well, weak and soft are not the same as meek and gentle. They're not? No. Soft is physically out of shape or to be lenient toward those who need correction. Gentle is to be kind and courteous toward others instead of harsh and rough. Weakness, with a W, is something uh, lacking in a person, either a physical problem or uh, a problem with character, like a lack of honor or conscience. Meekness, with an M, is part of the way Christians live for God. He wants his people to live quietly and do our own business, to work with our own hands. Uh, being meek is to avoid trouble and submit to God and to the laws of the land and to put others ahead of yourself. Well, that sounds like being weak to me. Really? So you'd rather be like those bullies who knocked you down and called you names and took your ball? They're very strong and bold. Well, well no, but, but being meek and gentle sometimes takes a lot of courage. What do you mean by that? Well, say someone does something to you like an insult, maybe. And you get all tough guy and maybe even win the fight, or maybe you don't. But what would it prove? And what good would it do? But if you summon your courage and let it go, what happens? Nothing, and maybe the other guy will even come to Jesus someday. Oh, yeah, well, what happens, in my opinion, is that he gets away with insulting me, and he still thinks I'm a wimp. Not forever he won't. The book of Romans, chapter 12, verses 17 through 21 says... Never pay back evil for evil to anyone. Respect what is right in the sight of all men, if possible. So as far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. Never take your own revenge, beloved, but leave room for the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. But if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in doing so, you will heap burning coals upon his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Cool. Coals of fire on his head? I like that. So, uh, if I do right, God will take care of the bad guy in his own way, in his own time. That sounds better than deciding that you don't want to be a believer anymore because some bully says Christians are wimps. Jesus wasn't a wimp, you know. Remember when he cleared the temple of the dishonest money changers? He turned over their tables and ran them out with a whip. He knew when to fight and when not to fight. And he didn't beat up the corrupt religious leaders who got him tortured and killed and who won in the end. Jesus won when he rose from the dead. You're right, Lin Song. I think I'll go work with my hands and let God heap coals of fire on those boys' heads. Bye. Oh, I think I'm going to go to the food tent to read. It'll be quieter there.